Hey guys, it's Gunner Run 13, and uh, I'm back again with another video here. And uh, previous video was on a knife review, and I spoke about um, how I tend to purchase more knives and do more knife reviews during the fall and winter months. And I guess it already has started because um, I purchased another knife. And uh, it's a pretty cool knife, so I thought I'd throw up a quick little review overview on this this blade and this blade is a knife by the company Kershaw and this would be a Kershaw one ton very cool knife very cool very nice price on this thing too this is the Kershaw one ton Let's check it out a little bit. Throw you out some specs real quick on this knife. All right. What we got here is called the Kershaw One Ton. It is one of three knives in the series. It is the Half Ton, Kershaw Half Ton, Kershaw Three Quarter Ton, and this the Kershaw One Ton. Uh, specs on it is blade length three and a half. Four and five eighths inch closed length, overall length one or eight and one eighth, and the weight is four point six ounces. Um, blade steel on here is uh, Kershaw uses a lot on their knives. Is on their various knives are eight C R one three M O V stainless steel. Sorry, that's eight C R thirteen M O V. And that's a stainless steel. Uh, like I said, I guess uh, Kershaw tends to use this knife, this knife or blade steel on a lot of their knives. Um, so, anyways, funny thing about this is, um, out of all my blades in my blade reviews, and uh, you know, there's quite a few that I have haven't even done yet on blades that I have, and of course, in the future other blades that I buy this is my first Kershaw and that may seem sound a little weird being that I do have a lot of different blades a lot of different knives um, but this is my first Kershaw knife a buddy of mine uh, called me up the other day and said hey man I found this cool cool blade and he told me to check it out I checked it out and this thing is really cool um, it's got a real fat big bellied blade here real high hollow ground um, this thing came pretty wicked sharp very sharp actually um, the scales on this thing is G10 on one side and it's got the stainless steel on the reverse side and this is a frame lock um, which is pretty cool double uh, ambidextrous stud th uh, thumb studs and it's got a tip up or tip down on the right side carry um, drop point blade like I said it's a big belly drop point blade very minimal jimping up here nice finger choil down here this thing fits really nice in the hand nice and comfortable it's real flat real flat which is pretty cool it's really thin for such a big blade you know it's three and a half on the blade but that is just a, a, a meaty blade as far as width with this concern um, it's got like a bead blasted finish on the blade and deployment on this thing like I said it's a uh, liner lock but deployment on this blade is oops <laughs> what the hell is going on here Anyways, really smooth and pretty fast on this blade deployment. Even though it didn't look like it for a second there. I, I've been carrying this uh, Gerber Instant assisted opening knife. I guess I'm used to assisted openings, but it's really smooth and fluid opening. You know, not a lot of uh, hesitation or retention there when I get a good purchase on the thumb stud. Um, like I said, this came wicked sharp, real sharp. 
Um, overall, just a cool blade. It's got a little uh, lanyard hole here. I like the two-tone. G10 on one side and the uh, stainless on the other. Now the cool thing about this knife is its price point as well. You know, this is an imported knife. This is an overseas made knife made in China. Uh, but uh, the production on this is, is really well done. Really solid. It's got uh, good centering. Focuses in. It's got a pillar construction there. This camera to zoom in. But the price point on this knife is twenty dollars. Cost me twenty dollars and thirty-five cents total to have this priced, taxed, and shipped to me off of Amazon. It's uh, twenty dollars and thirty-five cents. Excellent, excellent uh, price for this cool knife. It's it's a meaty knife. It's stout, but it's it's so thin. Pretty cool. The lockup on this thing is really, really strong. No east to west or north to south. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I just want to overall look at this uh, knife over here. It's pretty cool. And like I said, this is the Kershaw one ton. Kershaw one ton, not the half ton or the three quarter ton, like it's little baby brothers. I think out of the three that I've seen, this is the coolest one, and that's the one ton. Twenty dollars off Amazon, or pretty much everywhere you look. And uh, that's it, guys. Just an overall quick look at a new blade. I guess this will open up the floodgates of uh, new knife knives to come here in the future. So. I guess we'll see more reviews, but we'll have reviews on other gear as well. And um, on a side note, really quick, I just posted a vid on these Raptum gloves. So I decided to go out and uh, grab myself another another pair of them. Well, I could get them seventeen dollars. Uh, I showed you some of the gloves that I use on my previous video and uh, decided to pick up another one of these Raptum gloves here, $17. These are black. They have a Minoti green and then the Coyote brown, which you've seen prior. So anyways guys, just a quick video. Another night review, overview, and we'll see you on the next video.